If you love the idea of taking photos of the sky at night, then this compact camera could be for you. This camera has several star mode settings that really do make shooting the sky at night as simple as pushing a button. To access the star modes on the camera, we'll turn it on and we'll change the mode dial to the special scene modes. And then we use the step control ring at the front here and scroll across to star mode. Under star mode, there's actually four options. We can see those by pushing the down arrow on the control ring on the back. The four options are star portrait, star nightscape, star trail, and star time-lapse movie. In all four of the star mode settings, the camera needs to be on a sturdy tripod so that we get a clear, stable shot of the night sky. A star portrait is designed for taking a picture of a person in front of the stars. So the camera will use the flash to illuminate that person and then combine that with a longer exposure to record detail in the sky. Push the down button and just make sure that we've selected star portrait. And then as it tells us on the screen, pop up the flash using the button on the side here. Then having framed up the shot, lined up the person in front, we're ready to go and we just need to press the shutter. A star nightscape is probably the setting that you'll use the most on here. It's just basically taking a landscape photo at night with a long exposure to record detail in the sky. To get there, again, push the down arrow and we can scroll across or just touch the screen to select star nightscape. All we have to do is frame up the shot. The camera is going to determine the exposure for us and we just push the shutter and we're away. You'll find that if you're shooting in the city or under moonlight, the default settings for the nightscape should work really well. But if you're under a dark sky, you can get more detail and a longer exposure by using exposure compensation. To set the exposure compensation, it's the up button on the dial and we can scroll across and use anything up to say plus two stops exposure compensation and press the set button and then simply take the photo again. This will use a longer exposure and record more detail and under a dark sky it will often give you a better result. A star trail image is a long exposure that records trails of the stars as they move through the sky. To get to that setting again we hit the down or the ISO button, scroll across, hit set. Now the time for this total exposure is shown on the bottom of the LCD screen and we can increase or decrease that by using the continuous ring on the lens. Once we've set the exposure time that we want, we just again press the shutter and the sequence will start. As well as shooting still images, the G1X can also record time-lapse movies of the sky at night. So a time-lapse movie takes a series of still images and renders that into a video file that you can watch playback. To get to the time-lapse movie mode, we push the down button or the ISO button, scroll across and choose time-lapse movie. And when we're ready to start, we start the time-lapse movie, not by pushing the shutter, but by pushing the video record button on the top right. So I hope you get a chance to get out and do some photography under the stars.